when you feel high, that level of high feeling good is compared to a point of reference inside you that is not affected. So that's how you measure. You're measuring your level of being high and happy to the point of reference. Then when you're low and you feel bad, you're sad, you're miserable, you're, you're suffering, you're going through issues, then you are measuring that level to the point of reference. Your ups and downs are always being measured to something inside you that doesn't change. That's how you know that you feel good or you feel bad. Otherwise, it would be impossible to know if you feel good or you feel bad. You would never know it. You cannot distinguish the differences because you have nothing to measure it against. You have to be able to measure something against. Same as when it snows, the city, the government, the state comes and says, say, oh, it snowed two meters, one meter, five feet, 10 feet. Okay, so it snowed two meter to what? That length is being compared to what? You have to have a point of measurement. So it's being compared to the ground because the ground, the floor, the ground is the zero. That's the point of reference. It's zero. So you measuring from zero, anything above it. Okay, you say two meters of snow. Now, what about when they're digging in the ground and they're drilling and they're digging and they say, okay, we had to dig 20 meters to get to the water, 50 meters to get to the water. Okay, so you're measuring this 50 or 20 meter that you dug inside the ground to what? What are you measuring it to? It's the flat ground that is zero. Anything above it, you measure it. Anything under it, you can measure it to this one. But this one stays same. This is zero. Same thing. When they say, okay, the city of Los Angeles, its elevation is sea level. So if you li live by the beach, it's the sea level. But if you drive and go to Big Bear, to the mountains, then let's say it's 3,000 meter, for example. Well, 3,000 meter of elevation in comparison to what? 3,000 meter in comparison to the sea level. So that's how you measure it. You have one, they have a point that is not changing. That's your point of reference. It's not changing. That's the zero point. So anything above it gets compared to this and anything under it gets measured against this, okay? Is that fair enough? Are you with me so far? Are you there? Yes? Okay, you're okay. I want to make sure you're, I didn't hypnotize you and you didn't go to La La Land. All right, so this is important. Pay attention. If you understand this part of it, that alleviates a lot of suffering. You can tackle suffering if you understand what I'm saying. It makes your life very easy. I'm giving you the tool, the secret, the know-how 
how you can free yourself from suffering. The most vicious thing that happens in your life because you suffer. You go up and down, up and down, up and down. So now, let's check this out. When you feel, I feel great, I feel good, I feel wonderful, Zarathustra, wow! Because you are aware of feeling really great because you have this zero point. Something inside you is not changing. Something inside you remains the same. So you're comparing feeling really good in com unconsciously, you're not aware of it. Nobody ever told you you're doing this. This may be the first time someone is telling you ever. Nobody told me that. I had to go through the process for 30 years to figure it out for myself. If they had told me this from early childhood, that would have saved me a lot of sufferings and a lot of ups and downs and a lot of depressions and a lot of sadness and a lot of excessive whatever. But I didn't know this. I didn't know that there is something inside me that is always still same, steady, and does not change. I did not know that. And that we can call it the witness, the observer, the real you. You can call it your higher self. You can call it your soul. You can call it the Atman. Whatever name you like, your fifth dimensional self, your guide, whatever name you fancy, you're welcome to use that word. I don't care what word you use. Whatever works for you, use that word. And I encourage you. Something inside you does not change. It's always same. Then when you don't feel good, let's say you feel sad. Sadness or you feel depressed, so you're down. Basically, in language, we say, I'm up, I'm down. You say, I feel good, I feel bad, correct? That's how we refer to it. I feel good, I feel bad. I'm up, I'm down. So to try, I've been really down. I've been really down the past year. I've been really down. What can I do to, to feel good, to come back? How do you know you're down? Because that level of being down is being compared to the zero point inside you. Okay? Make sense? Does it so far? We're on the same page? Okay. Now, here is what concerns you. So far, it sounds great. Whatever you say, Zarathustra, wonderful. But what is it going to do for me? because that's the most important part. What is it gonna do for you? Everything you're saying sounds great, but so what? How is this gonna help me not to go through these ups and downs? Here we are. Okay, I'm gonna give it to you now. 